Hello. Um, it's obnoxiously hot in this room right now, and I have on a giant bowl that I made. It kind of like falls over though, but yes, I did knit this. Um, so this is gonna be my vlog about oh, like this. the where I have been. Well, well, you guys know know where I have been. Um. I've been in the Renfrew Center in Philadelphia, and this is my vlog of everything of it. So, I was there for a little bit more than three weeks, and, um, this vlog is just going to be all about it. Like, okay, so our, our days would be, we would wake up at whenever, but vitals and weights were from 4 a.m. to 6 a.m., and during that time, we would have to set our alarms, get out of bed, walk, put on that, like the little hospital gown thingies and walk down and they would take our weight and like any blood or anything that they needed to then. Um, then we were allowed to go back to sleep. On Tuesdays and Thursdays were sharps, which means that you can get your razors or your tweezers or your nail clippers then between the hours of 6.15 and 7.15 you'd have to bring them back in that time. So only on Tuesdays or Thursdays would you get all that stuff unless you were on sharps restrictions, which means you'd never get any of that stuff. Um, then breakfast would be 8 to 9, and, um, you'd have to wait outside the doors and they'd open it and then you'd all go in to eat. Um, what else? What after that? After that, for the lower, for the three lower levels, you would have a thing called MST, which was Meal Support Therapy. And you would, actually, that's after lunch and dinner, sorry. After breakfast, you would have community meetings, which is where, like, you, like, sit around and people say, like, their goodbyes, and then new people join, they get, like, asked to questions, like, hellos and goodbyes, and, like, anything that's going on with the community, and when I say community, I mean the people there. Um, so, like, if you had a problem with someone else or something someone said, you'd say it there. Um, after that, you would, in med times, or 9.45 to 10.15, um... I, I was not on meds, I just got vitamins, and they gave me like little chewable ones and then calcium, which they'd give me Tums for, which were actually really tasty. Um, they'd have to line up and you'd go up to the window and take them, just like you've seen all those hospital movies of people getting meds, same exact thing at the fru. Um, and after that, you all day they had these things called groups, and it was kind of like an hour and a half to two hour classes, things like there was psychodrama, which is where you'd have the one main person and their story, like what they want to like say, and then you have people playing the different characters in their family and they'd switch. It's it's confusing if you've never been in a psychodrama, but they're really cool and interesting, so you should look it up if you don't know what a psychodrama is. Um also some other ones they had art groups. They had like anxiety groups helping you deal with depression groups. So that's pretty much what we did all day, and then at 12 o'clock, we would go in for lunch. Um, then after lunch, we'd have MST, which is meal support therapy, which is where, like, if you had a hard time with it or whatever, you could explain that, and people could, like, give you support for it or whatever. Um, and then from the hours of, like, on lunch would be till 1. And then, like, 1.30 to 3 were groups again. Then from, like, 3.30 to 6, there was nothing to do, which was, like, the worst time in the world because I hate sitting there not having anything to do. So, I'll get to how I spent my time after this. And then, 5.55 to 6-ish would start dinner. Dinner would go till 7. Then you'd have meal support therapy again. Then you'd have a 7.45 to 9 group. And 9 would be snack. Oh, also a 3 p.m. was snack. Um... The levels. Now, now I'm talking about the levels. So there's a lot of information to cover in a short video. It's for anyone who is looking to go to Renfrew or anyone who has been to Renfrew. But, um, yeah, because before I went in, there was not a lot of information on it, actual people who went there. So this is for all of you who may be looking into any kind of treatment program, because I assume a lot of them are the same. Um, what else was I going to say? Gosh darn it. Oh, the levels. The first level is called support, which is where you go into the room, you sit down, they have like a sign stage with your trays on it and your food slips, and then everything is like wrapped in plastic and you have to take the plastic off and hand it to the lady or the, um, the counselor in there 
and they'll check your sheet off because they do that to make sure you're not like hiding food in the plastic or whatever. And then also when you're done, they will look at your thing and then check you off again to make sure you ate it all and they'll put it in your charm, whatever. Also, if you're doing food rituals, they will see them and they will write it down. Um, I really didn't know about food rituals before I went into Renfrew. And let me tell you, I learned a lot about them. Um, one, t one time some girl, I heard, she, she stuffed pizza down her shirt so she didn't have to eat it. I, I, I don't even know how that's possible. But she did it. Um, people also, like, hid their cake. They would, like, wipe butter under the tables so they wouldn't have to eat it. All these crazy things that, like, I've heard stories of. Oh, I'm so hot in here. God, I'm just gonna keep talking, though. Fight through the heat. Um... Food rituals, right. Also, apparently using a fork and knife on your pizza is a food ritual. I didn't know that. Um, ripping up things or cutting things really, really tiny is also food rituals. Um, so they make us eat food in like really weird ways, even if it, like, it legit was not a food ritual. Because like one thing may be a food ritual for someone, may not be for another person. So like they made us eat things in really inconvenient ways and they would not let us dip our cookies in milk. Urgh. And then, so the first level of support, that's what it is. And then after you have like three or four successful, like 100% complete meals on support, you move up to trays, which is pretty much the same thing as support, but the counselors don't like stand over you and watch you eat. You still have to unwrap everything, hand it to them, they'll check you off and stuff. And then after I moved up from, I don't know how many days it was between support and IE. IE is interdependent eating. I do believe, which is where you go, you have your food slip that says like your options, like one is like, let's say chicken pasta and then one is like tofu pasta. Then you like, you have your slip and then you go into the line, you take your tray and then you go through and you get everything that you need on your little slip, like they'll say an apple or a banana. Well, when you're in um, support or trays, you circle that on, I think it's Mondays and Thursdays or meal selection day. You have to circle what you want, but with IE, you can choose either or as you're going through the line. Um, and you go through the line, you get all your stuff, then you sit down at a table. You don't have assigned seats or anything. And then you have the, you unwrap all your things and then the counselor comes over and checks you off. You don't have to hand them your plastic or wrap or anything. Um, and then after, when you're on IE, you get to go out on passes, which is like, you get to go out for three to four hours on um, any night you have to put in a pass request to your therapist though and have to look it over but then you have to go out once you have two successful passes which means that you have to fill out a form and stuff it means that you've completed your meal you didn't use any symptoms aka restricting purging exercise while on on pass then you get to move up to fo which is fix own which i got to I got from the first level of support to level f level five, which is you have to be FO to be level five in um two weeks. So it is possible to get there in two weeks. I don't know if you can get there in under two weeks because I, I completed everything and did everything and kept nagging my therapist about moving me up to it. But anyways, um, once you're on FO, you get to comp make your own meals, and they have like. A system of they have meal plans. There's A, B, C, and then if you have C plus one or C plus two, that's your meal plan plus your snack. Um, one is one mandatory snack, two is two mandatory snacks. Which are three and nine p.m. And then if you have like C plus two plus one, that means you have a supplement added into your meal plan. And at one point I was on C plus two plus two, which means two supplements, A.K.A. insures. And they are not very good. I do not like insurers.